coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Bahana EVTOL aircraft completes first full-scale test flight. UAS industry condemns reckless FPV drone video. And Boulder City, Nevada residents charged for recreational drone flights. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Vahana, the all-electric self-piloted VTOL aircraft from Airbus, has announced the successful completion of its first full-scale flight test, reaching a height of 16 feet before descending safely. The test was completed at 8.52 a.m. Pacific on January 31, 2018 at the Pendleton UAS range in Pendleton, Oregon. Its first flight with a duration of 53 seconds was fully self-piloted and the vehicle completed a second flight the following day. Vahana is a project developed at the Silicon Valley outpost of Airbus. Vahana aims to democratize personal flight and answer the growing need for urban mobility by leveraging the latest technologies in electric propulsion, energy storage, and machine vision. Vahana leverages its self-piloted capabilities to operate without a passenger. Following these successful hover flights, the team will turn to additional testing, including transitions and forward flight. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Say Brewing Aircraft Company has raised 140% of its initial angel funding goal, according to Ed Duray, CEO of Say Brewing Aircraft Company. We will close this round shortly and cap this round at just under $1 million, said DeRays. DeRays stated that they raised the funds from the drone fund, Integro LTD, and the other two investors. Due diligence ended at the end of December and funded at the first of the year. The FAA has signed off on an in-house UAV program for the Los Angeles Fire Department developed by Skyfire Consulting. In addition to their standard two-day UAVs for public safety training class, 2018 will bring five new training courses to Skyfire's industry-leading catalog. These courses include basic UAV maintenance and repair, in-depth scenario-based training, focused seminars on the ins and outs of UAV apps, thermal imaging, and accident reconstruction. A research project is underway in Zurich, Switzerland, that is intended to teach drones how to navigate city streets in much the same way that birds do. The software, called DroneNet, is a convolutional neural network that learns to fly and navigate by flying and navigating. In the early stages of the experiment, the aircraft have learned to avoid oncoming traffic, as well as obstacles like traffic pylons and pedestrians. The NC Department of Transportation wants to bring various agencies together to share how emerging drone technologies can be included in their operations. More than 150 police officers, firefighters, and other emergency responders was on hand last week as NC DOT's Division of Aviation UAS Program Office hosted a free workshop for public safety agencies that have already or would like to soon incorporate drones into their operations. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. A video posted to Facebook has been receiving a great deal of attention from the drone community, and now the rest of the world. As it appears, someone has done something dangerous and counterproductive to the interests of the UAS communities. The video shows an FPV racer flying in the approach path to Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. The barely 30-second video appears to be shot fairly high above the ground, a thousand feet or more and within visual sight of the McCarran Airport. An Airbus A320 appears, approaches, and flies underneath the drone, and thereafter shows the drone's flight path as it dives down and toward one side of the airliner passing below. The rest of the foolish flight continues its descent away from the approach path. AEVSI boss Brian Wynn expressed deep concerns. All UAS operators need to understand their aircraft, stay way clear of manned aircraft, and adhere to the law. 
AUVSI supports strict enforcement against careless and reckless operators who endanger the safety of the airspace and violate the law. AUVSI is committed to the safe and responsible use of UAS and co-founded the No Before You Fly campaign with the FAA and the Academy of Model Aeronautics to provide education and guidance to the UAS community. And this one has us all scratching our heads. Recreational drone operators who wish to fly their aircraft within the Boulder City, Nevada city limits would be subject to a $25 per day fee, according to the city's proposed fee schedule. The fees are part of an overall Boulder City Municipal Airport fee schedule. Commercial uses defined as flights intended to making a profit while utilizing a UAS would be charged $100 per day for each aircraft or a blanket annual charge for Boulder City residents of $1,500 per year per aircraft. Such commercial activity includes, but is not limited, to surveys, real estate photography, commercial photography, etc. The permit rate will be based upon the number of UAS or the size of the company, whichever is larger. For example, if a company has six UASs and 11 persons, a Class C permit would be required to operate. But a $25 per day fee is also charged to any private user of UAS engaged in recreational UAS operation, defined as an operation for personal enjoyment and for no other purpose under the proposal. The most recent government meeting has tabled the matter for a few weeks, and we will report ASAP on what occurs with this onerous proposal, one of the worst we've seen so far. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at aavsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.